Hey everyone, uh, Yuvan here from Brother to Brother Tutorials, and uh, today I'm going to teach you guys how to convert 10 bit MKVs to 8 uh, bit MKVs. Uh, we'll get into it right after the intro. First of all, you're going to need to get these two files here. I'll put the link in the description, I'll upload it to my media fire, and uh, you guys can have it. One is an encode.bat script, um, and the other one is a x264 um, application thingy. You don't need to worry about what those are if you don't know what they are already. You don't need to know what they are to use them, so it's all good. And then you're also going to need um, the 10 bit MKV. The thing with 10 uh, bit MKVs are, um, yeah, sure, they make. The reason people use them is because apparently they have better quality smaller for small size and better gradients and th so on and so forth um, but the problem is most things and most a lot of processors, older ones don't support 10 bit properly and a lot of software doesn't support it at all so if you'll notice sometimes when you get something with like high 10p or something along those lines when you put it into a converter or you try to watch it in certain things it just completely messes up it doesn't work properly at all that's because it's 10-bit and a lot of things don't support it. So, uh, I don't know why people are using it so much already when things don't support it, but really, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> this is just a solution, so, yeah. Um, so what you're going to do, you're going to grab your... You need to put all these in the same file, in the same folder. So whatever you're encoding, that is 10-bit currently, and these two files. And you can have as many as you want going at the same time. So just uh, grab this and drop it onto encode.bat. This little window should pop up, and um, it says the percentage that's being done, the amount of frames that are to be done, and the amount of frames done so far. And that's how many frames it's doing per second, that's the amount of data it's transferring per second, and that's the ETA, so when it's going to finish. You don't need to worry about the rest of this, it's all technical stuff you don't need to worry about. So, uh, once that's done, um, you'll end up with a... Um, file and I'll just skip for head so alright now uh, once it's done uh, the window should close and you should end up with uh, a second MKV file now um, if, you'll, and it's, if you notice at the end it says dot .mkv.8 dot bit so you know which one's which now um, it's slightly smaller and also it doesn't include the audio stream with this encoder so it takes out the audio and it only gives you the video uh, depending on what you want, it's fine, but you can mux it together, and if you don't know how to do that, you can just refer to uh, another tutorial for that. So, yeah, uh, now this is more, this is compatible with whatever 8-bit MKVs are compatible for, and uh, with. And if you don't know what that is, just all the MKVs currently you have, chances are they're 8-bit, except the 10-bit ones. Like, uh, so all the ones that work will work with this. Um, yeah, so hopefully that helped you guys out, and uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and if you've got any questions or anything, just uh, chuck them in the comments below. Uh, see you guys next time. Uh, see you.